Andreas the Cypriot. This novel is inspired by my life in Nicosia since 1976, where my children and grandchildren grew up. Cyprus has always been in my mind and my feelings, and in my literature works. More than 35 extra books and novels have been published since then. My novel Andreas the Cypriot is a verdict which was implied by these years, and so it is a message of gratitude for a country that deserves more. In this, it is also a message to the world that tells the story of a country where all humans aspire to. The idea of this novel. A year ago, I decided to spend a week or more in the Paphos area. I rented a rural house in the bosom of the Sea View Mountain between Paphos, Adonis Pond, and Aphrodite Baths. I met one of the protagonists of this novel, Andrus, the owner of the house where I stayed. He was born and his brother Andreas, a father who was killed in the Cyprus fight for independence, and a mother who died during the invasion of Cyprus in 1974. Andrus became my closest friend. On the first day we arrived at that rural resort, we paid tribute farewell to his younger brother, Andreas, who died for the sake of the message he believed in. Andreas risked his life because he does neither want anyone to become an orphan like him, nor he wants his Cyprus to be fragmented and plagued by the greed of others. The novel follows two parallel lines. This novel has a lot of dramatic artistic boldness, in which more than 60 years of narration experience of the author, has been used. All the characters are inspired by the reality of the Cypriots, within the limits of their national cause. The way Andreas lived, and the way he ended up as a memory, led to the idea of immortality for the people of Cyprus. Cypriots with all the merits they enjoy, have their right of the unity of the island and its peaceful life and free of any foreign sodders. The visitors will never forget the breeze of happiness and love of life in this island of Aphrodite they enjoy. I wrote this novel to be an expression of my love and thanks to a country in which I have found nothing but love, peace, and safety for the last half century. Nothing attracts me like a seaside. There, we must stand respectfully. We have to hear its waves. We have to hear its waves breathing like a giant, reflecting the world on its distant horizon. We have to see in our hearts that there are people standing like us on the other shore. They think of us. They think of us as we think of them. We can only reach them through other means because we are human beings. We are not fish. We are not birds to fly through the sky. We are not fish to swim through the sea. All of us are helpless. So we are thinking about what we are and what we can do in order to satisfy our desires and fulfill our dreams. Because we were not birds, we invented the plane. And because we were not fish, we put up the sails. From the novel, Andreas the Cypriot, by Zuhair Shalevi. <laughs>